Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Terraria. Um, and actually, this I think you might find interesting, there is a, uh, a blood moon out. Um, meaning that these zombies can enter through my doors um, pretty easily. Um, fortunately, they can't jump quite high enough to get up through there. But nonetheless, um, nonetheless, there's a lot of zombies. Okay, so coming down down here might have been the smartest move in general. Um, maybe I should stay up and safe inside of my base. Um, yeah, I like I like that better. Um, I have a sort of mischievous plan. See how that does. Well, that's not gonna work inside my house, though. So there's, needless to say, gonna be a lot of zombies. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't actually taken the time to make um, an alchemy station and potions with that sand yet. So um, I'm still relying on mushrooms, unfortunately, for a little bit of time. Fortunately, though, um, I guess if I do die, my my resources will be right here. There's just a lot of enemies in the uh, in the Blood Moon. So sorry, sorry if I'm not talking a whole lot, guys. It's just uh, there's uh, there's a lot going on right now, uh, a lot of enemies. Um, also, as an aside, there's a lot of noise outside of my apartment right now. Uh, I'm not sure what all it is, but um, I don't know if you guys can hear that in the video or not. I hope you can't because uh, it's kind of annoying actually. But um, but you know how it goes. So I'm trying to think what I want to do after after I fend off all of these enemies. Um, I might close the door. Um, I you know we have got some lenses, but I'm not quite ready for the eye of Cthulhu quite yet. So, so I'm not going to do that. Um, maybe actually make this basement into a place for the merchant for finally. Um, Sorry, I was clicking uh, my inventory instead of the screen. Oh, and I died. Um, I might want to keep track of how many times I die over the course of the night. Um, the plus is, I'm right here. I can get my gold and silver. Or my, I don't have any gold, but I can get my silver and copper back. Um... Honestly, it's, you know, later on in the game, the Blood Moon will just be annoying, but right now, um, it's, it's just more of a, an odd occurrence. I mean, right, right now, it's just overwhelming. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my bow and arrow. Again, I've, I've said many times before, I'm, I'm not good with a bow and arrow. I don't, I don't like it very much. I have terrible aim. But it does do a lot more damage than my regular weapons do. Yeah. Um, so the bow and arrow doesn't work that well against the uh, against the zombies, unfortunately. Um, it's pretty effective for the eyeballs, but I'm still gonna try it. Um, And maybe who knows? Maybe my maybe my aim will get better over time. Uh, it's also just a wooden bow and arrow, so it's not it's not like the best weapon ever, anyways. For for a weapon made 
surely out of wood, it's not so bad. But, such is life, I suppose, right? I think maybe that noise outside that I'm hearing is actually like a, a thunderstorm uh, going on. I'm gonna let these eyeballs in. I know it's kind of a bad idea, but I really want the, um... Oh, boy. This is not going to turn out well, guys. Um, I'm just going to keep dying a bunch until, essentially, until the, until the moon sets. Um, so I guess that's death number three, I think. Um, if I can keep it under five, I think I'll, I'll consider that a success. Um, unfortunately, spawning with six eyeballs, but I, I did let them in the house. So it is, I guess, my own fault. Uh, that's four deaths, I believe. I could be down. I could be off by one, but uh, I'll try not to die more than one more time. Um, again, there's a lot of eyeballs. Unfortunately, the, um, the non-player char characters are safe and sound in their uh, rooms up top because the zombies, I don't believe, can get up there to them. Um, oh wow, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a storm outside. Um, I I'm sure you guys can hear that, it's just out of nowhere like a monsoon. So I'm actually starting to like the bow and arrow a little bit better. Um, and I'm actually, you know, I'm really excited to actually use this, the sand that we have. Uh, or, well, once the blood moon ends. <laughs> um, I think the music has changed though. I think the enemies are leaving. I'm not going to let these eyeballs escape, though, before I kill them. I'm also going to try to not let the nurse die. So, yeah, she lost about half her health just from that. Um, which I think was caused by the guide opening the door, actually. <laughs> um, so, you know, he's always a really useful character. Um... You know, maybe maybe they should look into um, adding some more functionality to him, or um, or at very least, you know, giving you the option to get rid of him or something, because he's just it's just everyone hates the guide. Um, Alright guys, well I'm going to call it quits for this episode now that we've, uh, well, sort of survived the Blood Moon. Sort of. Um, also because I'm afraid for my electricity and stuff, so I gotta go, okay? Take care.